guys all on Flat Tutorials and this is how to make a card game episode 8 and uh, I'm back. I'm back after a while and yeah so let's get started by creating games uh, and uh, uh, I have a uh, good news for you guys that Unity 4 has been officially launched for free user uh, so you can download it from the Unity site uh, click, by click on this button and then download it install it I already have it so I'm gonna just start Unity 4 alright so uh, here we are inside of Unity 4 and you can see it, it got pretty good uh, interface so let's get started alright so today what, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make this car slow down uh, when we are not holding down any uh, uh, any vertical keys it means we are not accelerating or deaccelerating we just need to slow down and stop the car it's like we're adding rack force onto it you can see currently when we start a car the car is just going and uh, it is not in the mood to stop or deaccelerate so what we gotta do is uh, we're gonna we have to put some code onto a script and the script that we're gonna be uh, all the code that we're gonna put, uh, that we're gonna be putting are gonna be inside a car controller script so let's just open it up uh, Let's say where has script script car control script up and up. All right, all right. So here we are. Now let's start by creating a variable. Let's create a variable name. Uh, let's say deceleration. I know this is not the best of spelling. Uh, deceleration speed. Uh, let's say it's going to be an up type float. Uh, let's say set to 30 I guess alright uh, let's just go over here and check if we are not holding any vertical keys down so in order to do that what you gotta do is to press F um, input input uh, dot get button vertical uh, wait vertical vertical is equals to false means we are not holding it down then what we got to do is we're going to set the, uh, the real wheel which are the motor wheels which have the which makes the car move we're going to change its uh, brake torque value so it's going to be a wheel um, rr dot brake torque um, oh wait uh, brake torque and it's going to be e equals to deceleration speed yeah. End of the statement and select all of this thing and I'm gonna paste it and set the VRR to VRL. Okay, now let's create an else statement. Wait, um, else. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna copy this both lines, paste it right over here, and set the brake torque to zero. So basically, what brake torque is: the faster you set the va value, the uh, uh, the faster the car will gonna stop. So I'm gonna set it to about 30, so that the car will gonna slowly apply the brakes and uh, the car uh, the car will gonna slow down. And uh, basically, you know, the brake torque is all, also a parameter like uh, motor torque inside a field collider, but uh, it use uh, it is a whole other thing than motor torque. It just stop. Uh, basically apply brakes to the wheel collider and it basically applies some motor force to the collider all right now let's just save it and let's get back to the unity and see if that will gonna work all right now let's go to the car all right so we have deceleration speed set to 30 and let's just check it all right now you can see I'm speeding up and when I left the keys the car will gonna slow down I guess yeah, it's slowing down, it's slowing down. Let's see if it's gonna stop or not. I'm sure it's gonna stop. Let's see. Alright, so the higher so you set the number to be the faster the car is gonna stop. Let's say 40. Now let's see what happened. Oh my god, why does it lagging too much? Alright, now you can see the car will uh, gonna stop. Alright. Even if you are reversing and you leave the keys, the car will also gonna stop right there all right so that's all for this tutorial next episode I'm gonna show you how you can limit your car's speed 
And one more thing, guys, uh, to uh, make this code look good, what you gotta do is to go over here and create a function. Controller, sorry, control D R O L, like control, I guess. This would work. Alright, now. Now let's create this over here. And copy this whole line. Oh, yes, here. Oh, my god. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Alright, yeah, okay. Now we're gonna have to fix update and put this uh, line of code over here. And copy the whole code which is inside of the control function, uh, inside of the fix update function. Except this control uh, line. Copy that whole function and put it, put it right over here. Okay. Now what this basically will gonna do is uh, this is gonna make our code look uh, good. Okay. So this is gonna separate the control function uh, from the fix update, and what uh, it doesn't gonna harm anything in our game. Basically, uh, when the function update is gonna start, we're gonna call the control function, and control function will gonna execute its code. Uh, so instead of putting all the code inside of the fix update, that we're gonna make uh, this code messy. Uh, we're gonna use the function uh, fun uh, calling function, which will gonna help us a lot to uh, help us a lot for debugging. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Let's check it once again. It will work. Yeah, I guess it will work. Let's see. Okay, and I can see. Alright, now it's down. Stop, 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 stop. Wait. Alright, now. Let's see. Alright, so I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks, guys. Do all that good thing. Subscribe, like, comment. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next episode. And uh, if you want to subscribe me, you can see a button called subscribe right up to this video and the benefit of subscribing is uh, when, you're gonna subs when you will subscribe to me you will get every notification of, of uh, whenever I upload a video or whatever I do on YouTube so it's good for you so yeah I'll catch you in my next episode thanks guys